All right, uh, so this is gonna be a video about the uh, NZXT capture card. Uh, this is the 4K signal, uh, 4K30 signal, or signal 4K30, doesn't matter. Um, we're gonna be running a dual PC setup. Uh, uh, one is, this is my gaming setup, or my gaming monitor. And we're gonna have a laptop, a streaming laptop. And this is the hardest part for me because I, this is like a day after that I tried to figure everything out. And it was actually really complicated because there's no videos out there to explain how to do this. Um, so we have over here our streaming laptop. And then um, over here, this is our gaming PC. So I'm gonna be, there's my laptop on the, or my gaming PC is on the bottom, right here. And uh, yeah, room's kind of a mess right now. So in order to set this up, we're gonna go straight into the video. So we're gonna go into uh, right click, show more options, go to NVIDIA control panel. And um, so I've already cloned it. So, but uh, for this demonstration, we're gonna try to zoom, try to zoom that in. Um, let me, let me, <laughs> let me extend that. Okay, and apply. So this is, this is, I'm backtracking right now. So um, I'm gonna actually get you guys into it. So I'm gonna confirm it, okay. So when, normally when you start off and you plug in your uh, NZXT, I'm actually gonna show you guys where to plug it in afterwards, actually. Um, so when you, actually, you know, I should show you right now. So the um, NZXT, the way that it should be plugged in is that the type C port, the type C port right here or yeah, right here should be plugged in to your streaming, to your streaming laptop. Should be plugged in there, and then the uh, HDMI in should be plugged into your gaming PC, and then um, that uh, it doesn't matter where or which HDMI you plug it into. It just has to be plugged into an HDMI that's well, it does actually matter, but it has to be plugged into your graphics card HDMI, and it doesn't matter which port, the first one or second one because this one, uh, this right here is gonna explain, uh, it's gonna do the work for you. So if you clone this one, so if you right click and you clone, uh, so, okay, so this is my um, my gaming monitor, two, and three is the capture card. So you clone this one with three, the capture card. It's gonna take a second and then just hit apply. It's gonna give you a black screen and then it's gonna say so, it's gonna say something like, oh, do you want to confirm or whatever? Just put yes. Um, I don't know why my thing is stuck right now. It's kind of weird. Okay, so it's gonna just put yes. And this, uh, I, I struggled with this because I had two um, capture cards, right? I had the uh, Elgato 4K uh, 60, I don't remember it was. Um, so I had that one, and I, ha so I have it plugged in right now into my PC, or I have it hooked up. So it's a PCIe or whatever. This it's it's actually in my PC, so I had a struggle because I had both of them in there, and so it was it was acting kind of weird. Um, but uh, as soon as I plug in the NZXT, it actually goes away for some odd reason. Um, so this is the most important part right here. Um, so you can just get rid of that. Now onto the um, streaming PC. So um, this is the streaming PC. Uh, a quick note, um, do you need the HDMI out port? Um, a lot of people say that it makes your audio better if you plug it into your monitor, but honestly, I, I think it's mainly for consoles. But other than that, like, I don't really use the HDMI out port. And everything sounds perfectly fine, and I'll actually show you what, um, what makes the video perfectly fine. Um, I can fix this real quick. So as of right now, so in order to, um, so I'm gonna delete this real quick. So a lot of people were complaining about the audio and um, uh, there, there's a reason for that. So in order to fix the audio, this, this is how I made it work. This is how I made it better. Um, so you would want to go into capture card, right? Add your capture card and uh, for this purpose, this would be the NZXT. Or whatever 
it, you don't have to really name it it's just for video purposes and then select your device your capture card which is the 4k signal it's already selected for me and then uh, honestly this is really optional let me see this is really optional so uh you can fix it to have a customization and then you go to the 1080 and you can pick 60 or highest for this video i'm gonna just pick highest and then a lot of people were suggesting um video format like if you want to have a better video i'm assuming it would be the nv uh, nv12 color space 709 uh color range would be full and that's pretty much it now in order to fix the distorted audio that you're getting a lot of people were complaining about that because the audio is coming from the capture card you don't want the audio to come from the capture card you want it to come from the desktop so if anything mute the capture card mute that because it sounds really distorted and it's horrible and so i'm gonna play a video on i'm gonna play a youtube video on my gaming pc and um this is the guy that actually helped me out. His name is Pixel Perfect. So if you actually looked at his video, it actually explains a lot on the audio. Um, so just check out his video. Um, so I'm gonna play it actually real quick. So the audio, the desktop audio is coming from the gaming stuff or my streaming PC stuff. Um, okay, so the YouTube video that's playing on my gaming PC the audio is coming from here and um the reason for that is because on the gaming pc the gaming pc um right here you want to select your capture card this is the gaming one so you want to select the capture card uh, and uh, a lot of people were kind of i was confused at first too because i didn't know where the how to set it up correctly so make sure that this is on it um if anything so um so so when you want to play games or try to stream or record all your all your gaming headset like so for mine i have a i have a logitech gaming headset it's a it's a wireless one i have a usb and also a jack and um you would want to plug in your headset audio or your heads your gaming headset onto your streaming pc and that's the reason why we have it on here right the capture cord so you want to have the gaming headset on the streaming PC, and if you have a separate mic like a Yeti Nano, like mine, I have a Yeti Nano, uh, you would also want to plug that into your streaming laptop. And there's not a lot of spaces, so like I only have like one USB here, another USB here, and then like I have a jack, so I guess it works out fine. And uh, the other USB is really being used, so you know my laptop doesn't really have that much ports. So, um, yeah, so that's basically how you uh, listen to your in-gaming stuff. And so basically the whole point of doing that is to take off all the load off your, your gaming PC. So that way you can run full FPS on your gaming PC and like all in this stuff right here will take up all the stuff, all the, um, the CPU usage from your gaming PC. So this, that's the reason why we have capture card, right? So um, to fix the audio, if you're not getting any type of audio, so this, this is what we did, or this is what I did. So it should be a gear or three dots. You wanna click on that and then go on advanced. And um, for honest, uh, for this part, you would want to put, for the desktop only, uh, you, can do, you can do it for the capture card. A lot of people said capture card, but the capture card sounds like, it sounds pretty bad. So I would honestly do it for the desktop audio only and the, the capture card you don't really need it to you don't really need to listen to the capture card because it's so delayed and it's so bad. So if anything, pick the second option, monitor only, mute output. And that's how you get a better audio. And um, if you don't hear your mic, if you don't hear your mic, then it could be the same option as well. But I'm not using a mic right now. You could also have a separate mic like a Yeti Nano or Yeti. Um, if you have a separate mic, you can add the um, audio input capture and just add your add your audio. Um, other than that, uh, oh, you can use, also use your headset audio as well. So like if you have like a 
let's just say a mic on your headset. That shit's really old, so if you have like a headset, and um, like a headset mic, then you can also use that. You don't really need to add anything. It would just be on it. It would be on it already. Um, there's one more option, or there's one more thing too as well. So you would want to, right, let's go to sound. Sound, let's just go to sound. And you want to go to, um, you want to go to recording and then go to your capture card and then go to properties and then go to listen and then also put listen to this device and just put you know uh whatever honestly i honestly just put uh your speakers or default i don't you can try to mess with that uh but this is the most important part the check and then just click apply and then okay so I'm gonna play back the video on the YouTube video, Sandbox, which should start and as everything is fine. Make sure but make sure that you guys mute the capture card because that one sounds like butt. So here you go.